Let me tell you a sweet little story about this wonderful woman I once met at the bar. I was greeted by her with the most beautiful smile I had ever seen. And with a single look in her eyes, I knew I had to take this opportunity and talk to her. This is the moment where I learned a lot about her life. On Mondays, she works at this bar, a true shining star she is, capturing everyone who makes an eye contact with her. And her best friend is called Elizabeth. She's also pretty crazy. On weekends, she says that she lives many different personalities, of which her favorite is that small crazy girl she once was. She even told me that sometimes she takes a bath with her clothes and makeup on. And one of her favorite hobbies is dancing in the rain in pitch black darkness. I said, wow, your life sounds like a movie. How do you manage to capture your memories so well? She looked at me and said, It's all about the lights, baby. That's cute. So the intro sequence you just saw was a commercial I made for Siri. I think it was a really, really cool commercial because usually you see these videos where it begins with something along the lines of uh, introducing the newest and most powerful, our best light ever, grab it now, sail ends tonight. You know, and I'm just so sick of seeing those commercials that I just wanted to make something different. Every single time a company reaches out to us and they want us to make a commercial and afterwards maybe plug their product in our YouTube videos, we say, nah, I mean, we can make you the commercial, but we're not gonna probably be using it for our YouTube videos. But this product is different. I actually really, really like this because it's well built, it's small, it's portable. I really like it. It's as simple as it gets, just two dials basically, one button, and that's it. So yeah, if you wanna check them out, the link is in the description. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Anyway, let's talk about something cool, a Cinetone, and why I think it's underrated. When I finished this video, I sent it over to a couple of my friends and I asked them for their opinion. And they basically said, man, you're, you're getting really, really good at color grading. How do you achieve this look? What plugins do you use? What LUTs do you use? And I sent them a couple of screenshots and I was like, ah, uh, this is straight out of camera. And they looked at me like, what? The footage you saw at the very beginning, it's basically straight out of camera. I mean, I did add a little bit of contrast, made the shadows a bit bluer and uh, add a little bit of saturation. But here are some shots which are straight out of camera. Bam, bam, bam. It's straight out of camera, bro. It's straight out of camera. Let's talk about Cinetone, how to set it up and what are the benefits of it. Let's begin with setting up a Cinetone. So all you gotta do is go to your profile pictures, select PP11 and that's it. <laughs> The only thing I would recommend you to do is set your zebras to 85 plus. If you overexpose a Cinetone, getting uh, details back from the highlights is pretty much impossible. Either underexpose your clips or properly expose them. So yeah, zebras are gonna be a big help for you. But when it comes to the setup, that's it, we can move on. And now let's get to the juiciest part. In my opinion, the biggest benefit of s Cinetone is the fact that it looks so good straight out of camera. It has such a rich contrast. Usually when you leave your camera on the default settings, it looks very over sharpened and digital, but s Cinetone just looks so good. I don't, I don't know how to explain this, but everything about it looks so good. The contrast, the sharpness. Another benefit is the fact that the skin tones look amazing. In this project I shot, in a lot of places I was using the wrong white balance just because I wanted a little bit of a cooler look. And usually if your white balance is a little bit offset, especially in S-Log3, it, it can be quite tricky to get it to look good. You know, you need to mask out the skin tones and play around with the hue sliders a little bit and you know, stuff like that. But with s Cinetone, even in situations where I used not the proper white balance. The skin tone somehow still looked rich and still looked good. In the shots you saw before, most of the shots are portrait shots. It was very, very important for me to, well, have good skin tones, right? And the best part is not even once I had to mask the skin tones. It just already looked excellent straight out of camera. So yeah, editing skin tones is my least favorite part, especially when I've been editing for the whole day. And then I just, <laughs> I just don't know what are good skin tones and what aren't good skin tones anymore.
And another good thing about SCN Eton is the fact that once you put it in Premiere, you can already see and feel how the video is gonna look in the end. And that is so good because, you know, sometimes when I edit the video and then I start color grading, I'm not really sure what kind of a look I'm aiming for. And with SCN Eton, I can already see that rich contrast, those good skin tones, that juice. It just looks so good that I'm already pumped up and I can see how it's gonna look in the very end. Also, a good thing is that my editing speed has increased by many times. I don't have to really worry about color grading the footage in the end, it's just, you know, minor tweaks here and there, but uh, I can concentrate more on adding maybe like some kind of titles or adding sound effects, which I also really don't like doing, you know? The reason why we haven't been making a lot of videos, YouTube videos, uh, recently is because we have a lot of commercials. I make around one to two commercials every single week. Sometimes it gets overwhelming, especially if there's a backlog and you know that you have to finish like four videos by the end of the week and it's already Friday. Yeah, shooting an SCN tone just has helped me out so much because I don't have to worry about spending hours upon hours on color grading. If you're a person who's maybe struggling with color grading, I think SCN tone would be a great way to go at the very beginning because you're not gonna have to watch uh, millions of Quasi's videos in order to, well, get, a, get the look you're looking for. It's already gonna look good and it's just gonna save you so much time in editing, trust me. It's not that I use SCN Tone all the time right now, but if I know that I have to both film and edit a video in just two days or something like that, and I'm not gonna have much time, I'd much rather use SCN Tone because then I'm not gonna have to worry that much about editing, and maybe for once I finally will get enough sleep. Nice. Okay, before we continue, let me talk about this one company that reached out to us a couple of weeks ago called Upbeat.io. I checked out their music licensing platform and it's hella awesome. The beat you hear in the background right now, actually that was the first song I stumbled upon when I went to their site. And imagine the first song you click, it's already so amazing. And I'm like, I'm sold because you never find the right music on the first try. You can get 10 free downloads every single month. 10 free licensed music every single month for your social media, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Let's talk real. Who gives away free stuff nowadays? No one. So that is just awesome from them. And if you want unlimited downloads, you can get it for $6 a month. $6 a month? What? And if you pay annually, you can get it for $67. I'm paying five times more for Artlist. If you're a social media creator, this is the platform for you. This is the best place where to start. And no, they're not paying me to say this. They did give me a uh, premium subscription, but they did not pay me to say this. And uh, yeah, so it's awesome, guys. Go check it out. Please don't hate me for this. I'm like one of those typical YouTubers with uh, the lens coffee cup thing. Good soup. So if you're a person who feels stuck in this field right now, maybe you just want to try something new, I would highly recommend just maybe playing around with the profile pictures. You don't have to use SCN Tone, you can just try some different weird creative um, bah, 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 profile pictures, right? And who knows, maybe you'll get a look which you haven't previously gotten before and it's just gonna give you a bit of motivation to try out new things and shoot a lot more passion projects maybe. If you feel demotivated, it can maybe be as simple as changing profile pictures or trying out a new look. So yeah, go have fun. That's it. Haven't really talked to you in a while and hopefully you enjoyed this video. But the reason why I wanted to make this video is because uh, everyone disses as Cinetone. I am not sure why. When you go on Facebook, you see all the people just whining about it. Oh, not enough dynamic range. It's, you know, you don't have all the flexibility in post. It's terrible. It looks so cheap. It doesn't. It looks great. Those people who say that just suck at editing. Sorry, not sorry. Anyway, hopefully you had a nice day. It was nice talking to you and ooh, haven't said this in a while. You know the drill. Peace out.